Well, we've been uh, fiddling around today with our trailer. Uh, first, we made some uh, handrails for a super sailfish to get shipped out tomorrow. But uh, we like this little trailer, the kayaks uh, fit on it. Just perfect, and we'd like to be able to load, but it's only 10 feet long. We'd like to be able to load 14 foot long uh, boat onto here. We could have a couple feet hanging off the front on a dolly. And then in the back, trying to figure out what to do with the ramp. To remove it, uh, replace it with a couple of detachable ramps or possibly cut a section out where the transom could just, magic finger, just poke right through and then pop that section back in when the ramp was down. I don't, the geometry of the boats is such that we can't, we can't, you know, tilt it back and use an angle iron because it, it'd just be laying too far back. So we're messing around with that. Uh, found a, got to look around in the garage, moving some other things to get the table saw. I noticed St. Jacques uh, sprit sail laying inside of our Drascom lugger. And we knew the cover had been off of St. Jacques for a day or so. I thought, well, before I put that cover back on, let's put this uh, sail back on and just uh, rig it and make sure. We got all the bits in the same place, so when we get ready to take this boat out, we'll roll it up onto that trailer, we'll have all the parts with us. And this is one of the 14-foot boats we're talking about. So on her tail end, about four feet wide, and there's probably about 30 inches vertical you'd have to have on a hole because of the dead wood up to the uh, top of the transom so that's uh what we're gonna look at we'll kind of mark it out and try it out and then on a uh, another 14 footer the sunfish is probably about you know when you come about two feet forward to where it'd be poking through that ramp yeah i don't know couple two and a half feet wide not quite as deep so if we cut a hole big enough to stick uh, St. Jacques transom out then the, uh, the sunfish should work well also but we could lower the ramp roll the boats up on it raise the ramp and um, with the transom poking through this would be another good way to another good Securing point for the boat also. You're leaving them on the dollies and just strapping the, put a strap to secure the, the boat to the dolly and then a couple of straps over the top of the boat and the dolly and be on our way. The, um, I just thought of something else about that's all involved in all of this uh, problem solving. So uh, we got uh, called jack shaving. We start off to do one thing, end up doing another. One of our other projects to complete today was to finish the uh, ramp for the little trailer parking area for uh, Smedley. So we cut up that board, got it done, came around, had the router to uh, round off the edges on the uh, bridge here in case someone brushes by it and knocks a shin into it or for whatever reason on all of our boats and most of the things we make little step stools boat seats and now arch bridge tow rails take a one eighth inch round over bit and take that sharp edge off that the uh, saw blade has left we're getting things uh, cleaned up around here. Getting things in spots where they will go sometimes. Might be their, their permanent spot, might be just a temporary spot. Let's see. We better get uh, Scout tied up here. And go finish the rest of the work. So I hope y'all are doing okay. We'll talk to you soon.